Hey, this is Mike. I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood, and I noticed they have another Rubicon. So the one I did previously, uh, the red Rubicon on my channel, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out, the full detailed video. This one has a few more features I wanted to show off. It has the painted fender flares as well as the hard top with the matching paint. It also has the, the metal bumper, and the metal bumper is not just the... Uh, just that it's metal it also has the ability to have the uh the winch there in the center portion and it has the removable ends that gives you a little bit of a better approach angle with the tire there on the end so you can you can see where it's bolted in and um it just kind of moves it over a little bit so that way just gives you that better approach angle so you can put the tire right up on the surface and just kind of climb over uh like say a rock or something that's protruding from the ground So you can see this is the matching. Now it hasn't been cleaned or anything, but the matching color is up here. And then you still have the plastic protecting the wheel wells. And since it's a Rubicon, it has the ability to have up to a 35 inch tire. Even the rear bumper has the, uh, the steel. It's like a completely steel. Um, there's no plastic cover or anything on it. And it has the parking sensors. And this one also has the blind spot monitor system, as well as the uh, Proximity key with the ability to open up the door as a little lock and unlock without, you know, taking the key out of your pocket. This one actually still has the spacers for the glass uh, from the factory. I also got my hands on the very first accessory catalog uh, at this dealership anyway, and I wanted to kind of flip through. Now there's a few things that I thought that was very interesting. You can actually get some of the features that fit onto the Rubicon, you know, standard uh, for your Sport or your Sahara. Now you can get the bumpers, you can get the even the fender flares here that allows for the 35 inch tires. Uh, you can get an oversized um, spare tire uh, holder in the back, s things like that. So let's go ahead and check it out here. So the very first page it has, you can see it has the, the winch in place and it has that same steel bumper that this vehicle has. So here it has the, uh, the, the part number and everything for the steel bumpers. The steel bumper in the rear, so you can get the front and the rear. The hood package, so you have the Rubicon hood package, fender flares. You also have the, uh, the rock rails. You have the Rubicon rock rails. You also have a, a separate style rock rail that kind of looks like a step here. You have the more tight in, in like this one. So you're not using that as a step, but this one actually kind of looks like a step. I don't have a real one to show you, but that's what it kind of looks like to me. Continuing on, you have the a lift, a lift kit, a two inch lift kit with uh, Fox shocks. Then you have a big brake kit. So basically oversized uh, calipers and oversized uh, rotors there. And then you have the worn uh, M8000 winch right here. And then you have the Rubicon winch. Now this is the one that'll fit in this bumper right here. So you saw the picture before where this portion comes out and this has a different cover and it mounts inside the bumper. And then of course you have to buy a kit to mount it in there, um, which is shown right here. So you have the uh, adapter plate, mounting kit, uh, the, and all that stuff. You can see it looks pretty cool installed. I like to see one installed, but closest thing I have right now is pictures and then of course they have that toe strap kit now this little bar notice that little bar sticking up uh, that's called the um, the grill and winch guard uh, hoop is what they're calling it but there's actually accessories that can mount on that okay so the next page uh, we have the um, the front Rubicon crate axle rear Rubicon crate axle. So this is an axle that you just write in a box, you take it out and you can install it for the uh, the Jeep. And then you have the, let me see if you can use the pause button to read all this stuff if you want. Uh, front bumper skid plate. And it actually has a cold air intake right here. You also have a snorkel on this page. Now, looking at this picture, it looks like you'd have to either get a different type hood or cut a hole in the hood to accommodate that snorkel. 
You also have a, uh, a third brake light that mounts on the outside of the spare tire, just like right above the backup camera. Uh, I guess this is for you know, tires that are bigger than a 35. Uh, I know that the rear light is adjustable up and down, so apparently it only adjusts so much and then you have to move it to this position. So you have the tailgate reinforcement system, which if you have a really, really big spare tire, kind of helps support the weight. And then the uh, oversized spare tire carrier, which is here. So it, you know, it moves it away from the vehicle uh, enough to where you can put a huge tire on there. So this is pretty cool. You can actually add the LED headlight system. So you can see it has the LED headlight kit, and you can see the, the part number there, LED fog light kit, off-road light kits, you see those off-road lights, and then you have uh, mounting brackets for those lights, and you also have the ability, you see where the, the, they mount on top of that bar I showed you before, if you don't have the winch kit, you can just mount them there, uh, but then you can mount them on top of that bar, which looks pretty awesome. There's the up near the windshield and then you can buy an auxiliary uh, switch kit so this is for the sport and rank and the sahara only in this particular case and this is the next page just kind of showing the a jeep with some accessories on it okay so check it out you can see these little compart little bags that hang on those molly um, portions on the back of the rubicon on the back of the seats those uh attachments there and then you have this little like a little tailgate type thing that swings down from the actual uh, swing gate so you can put some has cup holders and stuff like that it's pretty neat and they um, where you can attach stuff and then a roadside assistance type thing a um, first aid kit going on here you have the cargo net and then you have a cargo tub that's pretty neat and there's a net there for your pets to keep your pets back in the back and then there's a little pet carrier itself floor mats upgraded floor mats as well as sill plates here and you have looks like regular floor mats replacement floor mats and you can also get the cat skin leather uh, interior upgrades so you can upgrade the leather if you don't have leather so here's some more here's some wheel options, pretty neat. So you have a 17 inch beadlock wheel, 17 inch satin carbon off-road wheel. This is the one we first saw in the first picture. And then you have the uh, a black off-road wheel and then a silver off-road wheel. And then you have the spare tire covers, whole bunch of those. There's probably, uh, look at there, you can even customize them with all these pre-made ones for you. Now a lot of people ask this question, can you lock, is there a way to lock the hood? So here's your hood lock kit, and it mounts right there in the grill. And so that's a authentic Jeep accessory. You can hitch receiver, hitch receiver cover, um, wiring harness, and ball mount adapter, you see there. And the, um, you know, of course the ball, and then you have the you know RV tow wiring harness which is has the four I mean the seven and four way outlets there so on this page we have a uh, fuel door fuel doors here covered up so you have the like a satin chrome there and then a black one this one actually has the black one on it so you can see what that looks like in person And that's something you'll find on the Rubicon. And then you have some steps. So you have a chrome step and then a black step. And then check this one out. This really sticks out. Uh, that's another side step here. So you have black chrome and then it just says side step there. And then you have this tent kit, which is neat. It mounts on the very back of the Wrangler. So that way you can kind of like... Uh, utilize some of the space from the Wrangler and the actual tent itself, which is pretty neat. So on this page we have uh, shown a, an example here with the Wrangler with hood de decals on the hood as well as a roof rack. And you see those are actually listed here. So there's your roof rack 
and then the different graphics so you can have a um, satin black grill you have the 1941 hood graphic and cargo carrier different cargo carriers on the racks here American flag hood graphic Moab mountain body side graphics you can see that that's pretty neat and the uh, swoosh graphic there I guess that's the that kind of like a pinstripe but it's really wide a wide stripe that says 1941 on it this next page has some uh, top options so starting off here with a mesh sun bonnet so basically kind of keep the sun off of you but you still have that open air experience with this with the uh, you know air flowing through and everything but the sun not necessarily shining directly on you so much and then this one below has a you know basically blocks what appears to be 100 percent of the light um, you still have the open air feel and sound but you don't have uh, direct sunlight this one has a little bit of sunlight this one has like almost no sunlight and then you have your hard tops and then you have the paint basically they're paintable so you can get a um, you know just a black one or you can have them painted and then the headliner which is not completely covering everything but it does make a big difference as far as uh, noise inside I, I noticed a difference right away so there's the, the different model numbers there then you have a uh, parking cover so of course you can't drive around like this but if you have the top and doors off and you want to park it and you know, keep the weather from getting in your Jeep overnight you can go ahead and slip this on and then that way you don't have to carry all the top and everything with you um, you know while parking the vehicle you could just carry this top and just put it on and it protects the inside um, from from whatever and uh, you know just as simple as say maybe the dew going in there or uh, leaves or whatever from getting in there while you're uh, you know while it's just parked and then you have these grab handles now I noticed that the, all the vehicles have handles already I'm not sure what the additional strap handles would be for but they they're provided as well as an option also you have these latch here latches here is pretty cool um, you know the hood latch so it's a little bit different style than the the ones here so you see that's the normal one and this uh, little has a little Willie's Jeep on it and then you have the bug deflectors and little window covers you can also add a, an electronic vehicle tracking system, which is interesting, and a remote start, just in case you don't already have it. Locking fuel cap, different lug nuts, locking lug nuts, emergency kit. Now it looks like we've seen that before, maybe it's a different style. Um, radio screen protector, so you have this little screen protector, sort of like you'd find on a cell phone or whatever, but um, it's pretty tough already, but I guess that's an option just in case. Oh, these are valve, I'm sorry, these are valve stem caps. And these are the, uh, th the lug nuts here. Wheel locks. And you have a splash guards. Now the splash guards kind of stick down right there. Of course, you're only splashing on, like, especially in this picture, you're only splashing on the... The plastic portions anyway for the most part but it does so like this one here you can see it kind of slings up on the side of the vehicle this one hasn't been washed yet with the rock rails on the side it doesn't really protect because these tires stick out quite a way but quite a way so um, you can get those basically mud flaps there so this is called the roadside safety this is a cargo tote and then um, you can get a Jeep Performance badge, parts badge. Interesting. Thank you for watching. I just want to share a few things, share the information in that book that I just found out today, and share a few things on this particular Rubicon that I thought was awesome. Especially the the bumper. That was a that was a big one for me. Uh, the the additional sensors and and, and stuff like that. Um, not a big deal necessarily because you can find that kind of stuff on a Sahara, but it does have the uh, you know the fender flares that are painted matching body color and the matching top there this looks really really completes the rubicon for me i mean this is a little bit more expensive uh, rubicon than the one i showed you before but it just looks fantastic so anyways thank you for watching and thank you to van underwood here in whiteville north carolina and i'll see you guys next time